And today we're also learning more circumstances behind the tragic death of 10-year-old Dakota Collins. The superintendent of Dayton Public Schools tells us teachers and staff reported suspicions of abuse over the course of several years. 2 News reporter Adam Reif is getting answers. 17 times teachers and staff reached out to authorities while well, Dakota Collins was a student at Horace Mann Elementary. But after Al Mutahan McLean pulled his son from the school in order to homeschool him, DPS no longer had contact with Dakota and state law kept them from checking in. I am very grateful that they did report it, that they stepped up, they, they did what they needed to do. Uh, they did what they felt was morally right for that child. Dr. Elizabeth Lally says she's saddened by Dakota Collins's death, adding Horace Mann Elementary teachers and staff reported suspected abuse more than a dozen times. We are required as educators to report to Children's Services, um, to uh, report to uh, police if we feel that it's um, uh, appropriate and necessary. But privacy laws keep the district from learning what happens next. Neither Children's Services nor police report back to DPS with what they learn. The district last had contact with Dakota in May of 2018. McLean completed paperwork to homeschool Dakota in July of that year. So for 19 months until he died, DPS was unable to check on Dakota. In the past, school districts would monitor homeschool students' progress, even requiring them to come into school to test three times a year. But then state law changed. The only thing that we do now is we make sure that the paperwork is in and we make sure that we have an affidavit on file that says the child has been assessed and what those results are. Dr. Lolly wants that law changed to address red flags. If you have a record of um, abuse or evidence that we've called in about some concerns, then those are the people that I'm, I'm suggesting would need to bring their children in for our assessments to occur three times a year. Children's Services recently told us they did not have a case open when Dakota Collins died. We reached out to them again for comment on the 17 reports of suspected abuse. In the newsroom, Adam Wright, 2 News, working for you.